Fantastic Gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Fantastic Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here from Red Bandana Gaming today I am I'm doing another collection video as you can see you probably already know what it is by the title but I recently put up a poll on Instagram trying to decide whether I'm gonna do the Super Nintendo or the Super Famicom so at the end of the poll 50 50 so I took a little bit of time and decided I'm gonna go with the Super Famicom it's a much larger collection so as you can see, it's right here behind me. Got Super Nintendo candies. I, I don't eat candy, so I, I, I won't open it. Now, I was using the Game Genie for the Super Nintendo uh, to play the Super Famicom games. Because if you, there's a way, if you unscrew it right here, you can pop it. No, oh, sorry. If you unscrew it right there, and there you can pop it open just enough and get the Super Famicom game in there pop it in the Super Nintendo good to go it reads but when I eventually decided to buy uh, the Super Retron HD I'll get in good to go and I also do have two Super Famicoms um, Super Game Boy but not the Japanese version so we'll put those over there Now, these are just loose Super Nintendo games that I don't have boxes for. So, I create boxes, as you can see, a bunch of my Nintendo 64 ones, if you guys have seen the Nintendo 64 collection video. And if you look down in the corner right there, you can see on those shelves over there that I have um, made uh, the boxes for the Super Nintendo games. So, if we just go over the collection, it's too deep. Two shell, two two rings deep, or whatever you want to call it, two rows deep. Um, a lot of them I don't know what they are. I had to look up a number of them online to find out what the titles are, and they still didn't give me an English equivalent. Um, I put labels on top of some of them so I know what they are, and I haven't gotten around to doing the rest of them because I have so many. Now I even have some boxed. Super Famicom games, and I'm gonna save those until until the end. So let's grab a few. These are gonna be some of the more recent ones. I have Samurai Spirits, which, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, Samurai Showdown. So I'm gonna put these off to the side. Um, I think this is Fatal Fury Special. Oh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I know this is uh, in the Ultimate Muscle series. I got that. I thought it was pretty cool. A lot of these are my more recent pickups. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Most of them I haven't even played. Um, I'm a big fan of collecting the Japanese Super Nintendo games. I have very few Famicom games. Got a couple new ones. But uh, last year at MegaCon... Well, almost a year ago now, I picked up my first um, Super Famicom. It didn't work. It was having all kinds of uh, visual issues and whatnot. So I took my guy Geo and uh, opened it up, cleaned it out. It was disgusting. I was kind of upset. I bought it with two controllers and 10 games for 100 bucks. Supposedly it was a good deal if it worked. But I'll show you that in a minute. I actually have it in a box down here on the bottom. I'll pull that out for you. And then I'll show you. Um, Geo ended up getting me. I have the box Super Famicom that you can, if I'm not mistaken, on most of my videos when I'm doing gameplay, you can see it behind me. I'll show you that as well. So let's keep going. We got uh, Mystical Ninja 3 or Gomon 3 or whatever they call it. Um... 
Battle Masters. No clue what it is. I heard it's like a Street Fighter clone. Don't know. So I could put gameplay video of all these games, but I'm not gonna. Not gonna. Way too many games. Let's grab some more. Now, I'm pretty sure this is based off the, the anime Bastard. Disney's Aladdin. I have the Super uh, Nintendo version of that too, so I really wanted to pick that up. I know this is a Japanese UN Squadron, something 88, not 100% sure, but I know it's UN Squadron. Kirby's that, I, to be honest, I never really played too many of the Kirby games. If you guys know which Kirby game this is, let me know, put it in the comments below. Um, same with this one, another Kirby game. F-Zero, Japanese F-Zero, yeah. Cool. And that's their cover art. Bunch of text. This is the first adventure of our new hero, Captain Falcon. Little is known about him except that he was born in the city of Port Town and has become the galaxy's greatest prize hunter. Now, here we go. And as you can see, oh, now here, here we go to the ones that I listed on the top where I could get English names, some of them for. And then you can see, still got to do row number two. That, Mario All-Stars. Ooh, these are going to fall over. I didn't think about this when I was stacking them up. Ooh, sorry. Mario Kart. We all know Mario Kart. Uh, Wizardry 5. Don't know anything about it, I just know of the series, so I got it for like five bucks. Yep. Crayon Shinchan Arashi Wo Yobu Enji. Excuse me if I butchered that. Um, Super Mario World. Super Mario RPG. I was so happy to get this, but what sucks, can't read a dang thing. That is Doraemon no Bita to Yosai no Kuni. Sure. I thought this was a very weird title when I saw it, and apparently it's basketball that is just weird to me. Yeah. Another Crayon Shin Chan, too. Dai Mao no Gaia Kushi. Yep. You heard me. Star Fox! Star Fox! Super Donkey Kong 2. Now, Super Donkey Kong 2 is actually Donkey Kong Country 2. I have no clue why they changed the name. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, yep. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Nice cover. Um, this is a pretty boring video, isn't it? No? It's cool? Alright, you guys like it? Sure. It's gonna be pretty long. We're already at the nine minute mark. Okay. Yu Yu Hakusho. Never seen the anime, but I bought the game. Uh, Ultraman. That one. I like the uh, Ultraman. I like a lot of the Tokusatsu stuff. As you can see, I'm a big fan of the Power Rangers and VR Troopers, Mass Rider, all that other good stuff. Um. Super Street Fighter 2. It's got some weird little sticker on it. I don't know what that means, but that, that was cool, so I left it on there. So, Super Street Fighter 2. Um, I like this series. Super Robot Tizen EX. EX. Too bad, can't play. 
that's the only bad thing about buying a lot of these games. I know I won't be able to play them um, because I don't speak Japanese and I'm kind of a little old to learn. Maybe I'm not, but. Super Puyo Puyo? Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> hey, how about that? Another copy of Super Mario RPG. Super Augie 94! Yeah. Super Ninja Brothers, Super Ninja Boys, uh, in Japan, or over there it's called Super Chinese World. But, I have the first one on the Famicom. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Yep. I don't know what this one says. This one is Ryu Kai Dan. Dan Zarubu. That. And I can tell you, I've never played most of these games. I need to re-alphabetize this wall anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Ronmo one half. Anyway. Pretty sure most some of you guys, most of you, some of you. I don't know what it is, I just know of it. Pac-Man Packing Time by Namcot. I thought they were already Namco at this time. Um, yeah, Namco LTD. I don't know why they call them Namcot in Japan. Yeah, Namcot. If you guys know, let me know. Could just look it up. But. Mystic Arc. Enix. RPG, from my understanding, I don't know anything about it. Um, Mini Shiku Shining Scorpion. Yep. Mickey No Magical Adventure is what it's called. Mickey's Magical Adventure. This one I did play. It was it was fun. Uh, I think it came out here in the states. Don't quote me. I don't remember. Okay, we're almost done here, so the boring part's just about over. And yeah, I keep looking over there. I don't know why. I, I always think the, uh, the the viewfinder's on the other side, and I don't know why I keep looking that way. Kido Senshi Gundam F91. F91. Ow. More Namcot games. Prime Ghoul. This one is Hi Odin Mo Ma Mamono Tachi Tono Chikai. Yeah. I know I'm soldering this. <laughs> Haru Kanaru Augusta. It's golf. It's golf. This is, if you guys could see, this is the danger waiting to happen when I have sitting over here on the desk. All right, this one's Great Battle Gaiden 2. Looks like it has Gundam, Mass Rider, Ultraman, and something with hair. Okay, it's kind of pretty cool. I might play this one. I might do a video. I don't know. Uh, I think we've only done one import video on the channel. I think we did Parodius? I think we did Parodius. Yeah, speak of the devil. Go Cujo Parodius. This is a pretty expensive game. I didn't realize how expensive this one was, but it's a pretty, very good game. We did a video. Lich and I played it. Quite fun. Gambare Goman 2. That's it. The other one must have been part 3. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm a fan of Mystical Ninja. I have... Uh, two other ones for the Famicom, and I have Mystical Ninja Star and Golmon on the 64, uh, English and Japanese, and I'm missing uh, Golmon 2 on the 64. Whew, dangerous. 
Now this one is Gako de Ata Kawai Hanashi. Shadow people standing on the cover of the game. Ha! Ah, and this one the other day, I almost bought it again not knowing if I had it. Um, because I can't seem to find the Japanese games in the app I use, the tracker, Game Eye. It's, it's really hard to find them and some of them I can't find, but Final Fight 2! Pretty good! Pretty good, very good game if you haven't pretty good. By pretty good, I mean it's a really good game. Okay, over there, and our last four, five, six. Six. Oh. There is one that I didn't get that I thought I got. Mystic Quest. Crap. Yeah, Mystic Crap. Mystic Crap. Uh, Mystic Quest. Uh, Final Fantasy USA at the other day. I thought I had it. I did not. Ooh, it was Mystic Cart that I had. Poo poo poo. Well, once Geo opens back up, see if I can get it then. If he still has it, hopefully he does. So, back, uh, back to the games. Final Fantasy 6. I popped this bad boy in. I just popped it in to see if it worked. And yeah, lo and behold, it's Final Fantasy VI. And a, like this one and a couple of the other ones, like this next one, Final Fantasy IV. I had game saves for the people who originally played it. Pretty far along. Um, I let Lich... I can't remember if he was playing four or six, but because he knows the game so well, he actually knew exactly what to do without having to worry about reading. I was like, damn, I'm impressed. Um... Now, the next three, I have played part one, and you're going to see Dragon Ball 3. This one is Dragon Ball Super Butauden 3, Butauden 2, and Butauden. Oops, sorry. Butauden. So those are my three Dragon Ball games. I don't know if there's any more in the series, but hey, I got them all. And then another Doraemon 2. I got that. Um, yeah, and it's a pretty large collection to have massed in one year. Amassed, sorry. Uh, in one year. But a lot of these games are very dirt cheap. Um... Five bucks a piece, majority of them, some ten. I think my most expensive one was uh out of the loose ones, Parodius at 2025. But the rest of them between four and ten dollars at very most. And uh at very most. The majority of them were not in the ten range. The majority of them were about four to six bucks. So you can get Super Famicom pretty cheap because they're a lot easier to come by. They were a lot more of them were made in Japan than Super NES games that were made here, which is kind of sad, but um, yeah. So, like I said, I do have a few boxed ones. Um, let's take a look. So, you're probably wondering which ones I have. I'm going to show you. Super Mario World! In a box! Their boxes, most of their boxes are uh, vertical, but I do have a couple you'll see in just a moment that are not. And boxes like that bother the crap out of me. Because when you're standing them all up, all the spines look different, even if they say Super Famicom. Like our Super Nintendo ones are Nintendo 64s, as you can see. Besides, these are reprints. The the ones I have, they're all the same. They all uniform look. So yeah, put that there. Next one, Super Mario Kart. Yep. Next one, Super Donkey Kong Three. I thought I had both. I thought I had all the Donkey Kong games. I guess not. So I have two and three. Super Donkey Kong 3, which is Donkey Kong Country 3. 
Um, next one was my first um, box. Super Famicom game. Front Mission Gun Hazard. Really cool art. This is a square soft game, so I had to buy it. Next one, Dragon Ball. Like I already had the number two. Got the box. Pretty cool. These were old Dragon Ball fighting games. So I think I have um, a video of one of them saved on my Instagram stories. And my favorite, my prized piece, Chrono Trigger. In the box. How gorgeous is that? Beautiful. So, like I said, I was going to show you my Super Famicom as well. This is the one I got at, uh, brace yourself. This is the one I got at MegaCon. Disgusting. Disgusting. And they came in these mystery bags. So I didn't know until I got back to the resort and opened it. I was like, the flub dub is this? Gold Goldie Hawn. Um, so yeah, that is my Super Famicom collection. But, but, stick with me. Stick with me. I'm going to show you my box. Super Famicom. So you still with me? Still with me? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I know it's only been like a split second for you, but for me I had to go and get it off the shelf and stuff. So Yeah. Look at that bad boy. Ooh. Original box. This is how it came. These are a lot of different routers. They have a lid on the foam and ours was a complete box that's the box now that's the way it comes ain't that beautiful now one thing about their consoles which i found out they don't come with the power cables so for some reason i don't even think it says it on the box or if it does if it does i can't read it I'm not sure what that says, but I think the RF or AV or whatever doesn't come with it. And same thing with the power cable. I think it says it's not included. But hey, uh, I will not be connecting this. I do have the appropriate power cables for it because uh, Gio was the one who got me this. Like I said, CD Trader, I'll link him below. Uh, he was able to get me the power cable separately. So, because the guy who sold this to him, sold it with him with the power cable, and I think with the RF or AV, but it's the same as the one we use here, so it's no, no big deal. But the power cable was different, and I had to get a, uh, he gave me a special modulator, modulated one, so it will work. But I don't plan on connecting this one. This will stay in the box. This is just a, uh, a collector's piece for me, and I play all of them on the uh, Super Retron uh, HD. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, and yeah, I was told, or I was comment that I, I don't wear my red bandana in the video. So, look, 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 and, and that's why I don't wear the bandana in the, since the hair got long, it gets weird. I look like... I don't know. So, my hair got tied up in the, and, and that's why I don't wear the bandana in the video anymore. When I had the short hair, I did. But there you go. There's your answer. There's my red bandana. I still own it. Red bandana gaming. We have our bandanas. So, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? gonna make more of these gonna make my super nintendo um probably gonna do a playstation one not if not necessarily ps1 i might just i i don't have such a large playstation collection so i'm gonna maybe put all one video 
maybe I'll do GameCube. Maybe I'll do no um yeah so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoy that next will be the regular super nintendo video for you guys's collection looking adding enjoyment hey hey I, i've been cooped up in this house for two weeks come on don't 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 judge me it's, it's been a long time thank you guys for watching remember Head on over to redbandbandagaming.com. Buy some shirts. We got other merch. Do that. Buy. Come on, help us out. If not, subscribe. What are you waiting for? Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. If you made it this far, you might as well. Yeah, and I bet that theme song's uh, stuck in your head now. Really catchy, huh? Red Bandana Gaming's here for you. Okay, now I'm just blabbering on. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Head on over to Facebook and Instagram at Red Bandana Gaming. Head on over to Twitter at RBG underscore Retro. Uh, we could talk there, drop it in the comments, whatever. Uh, hope you guys are having at least a, some decent time with all this craziness. Hopefully I can give you a, a little bit of entertainment and a look into what I have over here. And uh, thank you guys so much. And like I always say, subscribe. I mean, <laughs> be legendary. Thanks again. Are, are we done? Wait, we done?